thought it'd be useful just to do a quick recap uh, on the changes coming to third party app access. So as I mentioned earlier, um, third party app access is updating uh, from the 23rd of October. Uh, with that update, under 18s uh, won't be able to access any apps which you haven't already trusted. So you can see these settings under security, access and data control, and API controls. And then within here, uh, you've got a couple of new settings. So if I click into here, uh, so this is settings for unconfigured third party apps. So the default for users over the age of 18 is to allow access to any third party app. You also have the ability here to restrict third party apps for over 18s only to those that request basic info. So just info which is needed for signing into a website using Google, for instance. Or you can block access to all third party apps. For under 18s, the default is to not allow any third party app. Or if you want to, you can just allow those apps which only request basic sign-in info. Uh, so that's the overarching options you have for your domain. Then if we go back into API controls and go into manage third-party app access. So in here, we can see any apps we've already configured. And as you can see, we've got quite a few configured for this domain already. Uh, but don't be alarmed if you don't have any in there already. Uh, you can configure apps which your users are already using by going to the accessed apps list. And as you can see here, we've got 449 apps already. So let's select this list. And here we can see sorted by the most popular, uh, which apps our users are using. And for each of these, we can go in and select change access. So let's try it on this one. And if you select change access, you can select whether you want to apply that access to all of the domain or a particular OU. Uh, let's just leave the whole domain selected in this case. And then we can select whether we want to trust this app, uh, whether we want to limit the app. So in that case, it only can access unrestricted Google data. And I'll talk a bit more about that in just a second or we can block access entirely. So let's leave that as trusted. And then you can confirm that and press change access. So that's one way you can, you can go through and approve or block the apps you want to have available on your domain. Uh, alternatively, you can do this by downloading a list to Google Sheets and you can then update that list within sheets so update it with uh, apps you want to trust or block and the ous you want to do that for and then once you've done that you can take that list go to bulk update uh, download that sheet as a csv attach it here and then hit upload and then google will take that list and apply those changes on bulk for you as well so that's another option uh, as well that can be useful if you want to download that as a Google Sheet and have uh, people go through and vet the apps which you want to allow or disallow. Uh, and then once you've finished that process, then once you do uh, change app access, you can see the apps you've configured by going back to this list and they'll all be listed down here. And just to note here, you can actually click on these apps as well and see some more details. So Canvas, for instance, uh, this one's only requesting basic info in order to perform a Google sign-in. If I look at another one, um, let's look at Pear Deck, for instance. This app is asking for more permissions. So it's asking for permissions to Google Classroom, Drive and Google sign in. And for each of these apps, you can also see the app's terms of service down here as well and its app ID. 
Now going back to API controls, one last thing here. So you might remember when configuring apps, there was, you can trust an app, you can block an app, but you can also limit an app. So if you set an app to limited status, what that means is it can access your unrestricted API scopes here. So as you can see on this domain, we've restricted access to Drive and Gmail. So apps in that limited capacity could then just access things such as calendar, contacts, uh, classroom, and so on, but it wouldn't be able to access Gmail and Drive. Only the apps you trust can access those restricted services. So hope that makes sense.